We're here today because I did a little bit of shopping while I was home in Canada, which by the way was such a good trip. It was so nice to just chill out and do nothing, like just hang out with my family and chill. It was amazing. I got one of these Sephora matte lip creams. I think that's what these are called. What's my voice doing right now? I'm just gonna carry it on. It's called the, um, where's the dang name of this? Rouge Velout Cream Lip Stain. I, you know, I don't know. Um, but it's in the shade Mandarin Muse and I was looking at the stand. I think they've recently brought out new colors and I have the red one which my friend Amelia got me and everybody loves these. The red one lasts so long on the lips and I was like, oh, what color should I get? I don't know. But I finally decided on this because I love bright orange lips but they're quite high maintenance and I thought this is the perfect kind of situation for a lip stain when you don't want to have to, when you don't really want to think about it too much. So. I'm gonna wear this in the next video. I promise you that. And then you can see what this looks like. And another thing I got, which is something that I've wanted to try forever. It's always on the blogs and the this is and the that's and the this and the that. <laughs> what? Um, it's the Smith's Rosebud Salve. It is just like Vaseline, like it's like petroleum. So I don't know if it's actually nourishing for the lips or what, but I just thought I'd give it a go. I saw it, you know, in the Isle of Doom as I was gonna go pay for everything. And I was like, I'll try it. It looks so cute too. I also got another one of the Kat Von D tattoo liners, which is a recommendation from my friend Claire. And if you watch Claire, you know her eyeliner is always, you know, it's, it's on point as they say. And she recommended this to me and it is fantastic. This is, I guess the second one. I had the first one for, probably about a year-ish and it's lasted well but it's kind of started to dry out and I use liner quite frequently I'd say. Of course not today, I'm not wearing it today but I like my liner to be as pigmented as possible and yeah, so I thought I'd get another one. I agree with Claire, it's probably the best eyeliner I've ever tried. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I got rid of the box for this one but it is the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. I was gonna get the cleansing oil because I love the Bosha cleansing oil but I thought, okay, I've tried that before and I've already got a cleansing oil, so I don't need it, but this seemed really cool to me. Let me read what it says. A lightweight peeling gel that works as a physical peel, a chemical peel, and a treatment to firm and brightened skin for a healthy complexion. And the person in Sephora said that this is one of her favorite Bosha products, so I'm excited to try this. Maybe tonight could be the night. All right, and I'm gonna get started with the drugstore stuff, which is actually in the Sephora bag. This is just crazy what's happening right now. It's all wrong, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get going. And the first thing I got was the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream. This is the, the blah, blah. this is the Vanilla Bliss scent. I've tried this shaving gel, well, shaving cream before, and I remember liking it, so I just saw this and I like vanilla stuff, so I thought, okay, I'll give it a whirl. This, ooh, I like that. I like the way that sounds. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Water Light Daily Face Sunscreen. It's SPF 60. I liked this because it said water light because I'm always looking for sunscreens for the face that are lightweight and they don't look super greasy underneath makeup because it's getting a lot sunnier. I'm like looking out the window. I don't know if you can see, but there's like sun coming in and I thought this could be good. And if you hear it, it is very liquidy. So I have high hopes for it. Let me know, what is your favorite facial sunscreen? And now onto the makeup. It's actually sick how many lip products I bought. I didn't realize this until right now where I'm looking into the bag and it's like, hey oh, you have one set of lips. Well, okay, what? No, so I'm just gonna start. So this is the flower. It's like a lip crayon and this is Drew Barrymore's makeup range which I saw and it looked so cute and so nice but I thought I would just get started with this since I haven't tried much and this is in the shade it's called the lip suede velvet lip chubby I just hate the word chubby hmm, can't get really get over that name it's called oh gosh coral floral Coral Floral, I think that's right. I saw a little stand of the Revlon HD lipsticks. I don't know high definition lips. What does that even mean? I don't know, but these better be high definition, damn it. So I got two shades. You can probably guess that I got the shade called Tulip because I couldn't resist. When something is Tulip, 
related I wanted in my life. So this is kind of like a more muted curly kind of shade. And then I got this one called Geranium. I love geranium stuff too. I have a diptyque perfume that's geranium scented and I love the way it smells. And fun fact, I was once somewhere and Daisy Lowe was there. I was once somewhere and Daisy Lowe was there. What a weird little vague scenario. But anyway, I was like, oh my God, you smell so good. I was like, are you wearing diptyque geranium? She's like, yeah, I'm like, wow. And she's like, no one ever knows what I'm wearing and everybody like doesn't like the smell of it. And I was like, I know because when I wear it, everybody hates it and I am obsessed with it. So I felt like we had a bonding moment over that. But anyway, we had the geranium lipstick and the tulip lipstick. So I'm excited to see the HD effects. Sticking on the bright pink coral theme, I got one of the Sally Hansen nail polishes. This is in the shade Kuka Mango. It looks just nice and bright. I thought this would be a nice toe color. Well, not toe, but toenail color for the summertime when you got the flip flops out and your feet are out. Um, what else can I show you? What's this? Oh, this is, um, the, okay, the color of this, first of all, I am, I really, really liked that. Like, I've never seen a tube of lipstick this color before and I just thought it was very springy. It's one of the Maybelline Color Sensational in the shade 740 Coral Burst. And I was like kind of swatching these in the store and they looked really pretty. And again, this is just like a bright, bright pink. I thought it would look so sexual in the summertime when you have a nice pop and you're just like popping around and you know, the sun's beating down and you got your lipstick on. Oh, good times, good times. The rest of the stuff is from Essence because in Canada, it's sold at Shoppers Drug Mart. So you might remember that I've been loving one of these Essence lipsticks in the shade Coral Calling, I think, I think it's something like that. Um, so I saw the rest of them there because this is the first time I've seen them in person and I like them. This is the shade 16, I Am Yours, just kind of like a neutral rose everyday color. And then this is the shade 7 Natural Beauty, which is just like super muted and laid back. So I was, I was into that and I said I wanted to try more shades, so that's good. I also got this, okay, this is so unlike me. This is so unlike me, but it's the Essence XXXL Shine Lip Gloss. And it's like this bright pink glittery thing. Like... I've never been near anything like this before. So I haven't tried it on yet, but again, I'm trying new things. I thought this could look quite cool in the summertime. So that is that. And I got a lipstick. This is a different formula. The shade is 44 Almost Famous. I got it because of the name. Almost Famous is my favorite movie and I just couldn't resist. So it's a little glossier and it's more sheer. So I think that looks good. It smells good too. I love the way that smells. And, okay, coming down to the last couple of things, I got an Essence blush. This is in the shade Life's a Cherry. Again, they're killing it with the names. And it's just got a cute little design on it. I thought it'd be a nice everyday. Everything I get is a nice everyday thing. Anyway, I've saved the best for last. Look at this little beast right here. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 17, which is one of my favorite numbers. My birthday is August 17th, so I like the 17th. Uh, Two two turquoise. Now, I love Stephanie Pratt, okay? I'm obsessed with Stephanie Pratt's makeup, and I actually tweeted the other day saying that I loved her makeup, and she always has, well not always, but sometimes she does the signature turquoise thing, and I thought, I wanna try that. And I remember doing it like a couple summers ago, but I really wanna go with it this time and make a go of it. I wanna go with it and make a go of it because turquoise is just cool. I don't know, I think it's cool. So I hope that works out. Anyway, I think that is everything that I got in Canada. I hope you liked seeing this beauty haul. Make sure you stick around and subscribe because I'm gonna be doing a fashion haul next. So a spring, summer fashion haul. I got a lot of clothes when I was in Canada, which is weird because, I mean, I don't know, I usually just like don't get clothes in Canada, but I was shopping with my mom and it was fun. It was like a girly time and we were, I was just like, oh mom, what do you think of this dress? And she's like, oh, it's so cute, you have to get it. And then she was like, what do you think of these jeans? I'm like, dang, you look great. So it was a nice girly time and I'm looking at the stuff over there. Lots of, lots of spring summer stuff. So stick around, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And tweet me on Twitter. You can follow me at Essie Button. I'm on Instagram as well, at Essie Button. And I'm also on Snapchat now, Essie underscore button. So check it out. Okay, wrapping it up, and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but don't start anything yet. Okay. Until you tell me what's happening. Do you know what we're doing today? No. What's in my grandma's bag? Oh. So luckily you've got your purse right there. Yeah. 